Today, we're going to be balancing the equation of magnesium solid plus nitrogen gas, N2, and that will produce magnesium nitride, Mg3N2. I already wrote us a little chart of our left-hand side and our right-hand side, as well as the elements that I see on both sides. All we have to do is just say how many we have of each, and then we can get started with the balancing. Let's start with the left side. This is just one magnesium, right? There's no, you know, two on the bottom or a three, right? Or any coefficients. So that means I have one magnesium. Coming over to the nitrogen, I do see this two down here, which means that I will start off with two nitrogen. Moving to the products, now I see that I have three magnesiums. So I will put a three here. And for the nitrogen, there's a two next door. So that tells me that I have two nitrogens. Okay. So it looks like the nitrogens are balanced, right? All we have to do here is just balance the magnesium. Always start with the lower number to get to the bigger number by multiplication. One times what will get us to three? Yeah, one times three. And the number that you state is going to be the coefficient that you place in front of the element that you're trying to balance. So I'm gonna put a three here. So now I will have three magnesiums and I don't have to, you know, distribute this three to anything because it's just magnesium. And if I'm looking here, that's all I have to do. Both sides, we have three magnesium and both sides, we have two nitrogens. So I've balanced this equation. I have three magnesiums plus one N2, and that will produce only one magnesium nitride, Mg3N2. So guys, hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Love to talk to you guys. I am rooting for you guys on your future tests or quizzes. And let's keep studying hard, okay? See you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.